Hello everyone and welcome back to Luke's John Deere Garage. Today I'm just going to take a little walk around and show you this John Deere 44 loader setup here. I know these 44 loaders are pretty uncommon and uh, it took me quite a while to find this one so I figured I'd make a quick video on it. This is a, a, a mid 80s John Deere 44 loader that I had shipped down here to Georgia from northern Indiana. I actually found it for sale online and it came with a subframe for a John Deere 420 tractor, which as you can see, I'm using it on a 430 tractor, so more on that in a minute. But the loader came with the pump, the subframe, all the mounting hardware, and as you can see for its age, the loader itself is in pretty good shape. Some surface rust in the bucket, but no holes or damage that I can see. Everything seems to be in good shape, it doesn't leak. I did overfill the hydraulic fluid a little bit, so. It looks like it's leaking there, but that's my fault. And it also came with the parking stands, which you use when you remove the loader from the tractor. So that's kind of interesting. My friend Thomas down in Florida actually knew a guy up near North Carolina and Northern South Carolina that had a 430 subframe for one of these 44 loaders. And uh, I was able to make a deal with him where I traded in my 420 subframe and was able to get this 430 subframe. So that's, you know, pretty rare that that would work out, especially being able to find a subframe like this within driving distance. So the other day when I got back, I was able to spend a little while under the tractor mounting that subframe, which is quite a difficult job and uh, get this loader attached and try it out. So the only other modification I had to make to this 44 loader, seeing is that it was used for a 420 originally, as you can see someone actually wrote 420 on it, was there's a small plate up here where the pump attaches under the frame. I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but I had to just make a, just grind a little notch in it because of the location of the muffler on a 430 tractor because it's in the lower frame right there and it was hitting that so it couldn't latch it. But otherwise the drive shaft seems to work. It latches onto these deck hangers. This is a mid-mount pump. So it latches onto these just like a deck would just fine. Um, the hoses come around here like this. I'm not, not sure if that's right or not. I gotta some pictures to see how this is supposed to be routed and then the only other difference is seeing as this is a loader for a 420 these little handles here to control the loader are sort of short um, i've heard that on a 430 version of this loader these would come back a few inches so that you could reach them easier from the seat but that's not really a problem and i can still reach them just fine so uh, the only other issue i had is as soon as i mounted this loader yesterday i actually uh, pretty much immediately had a blowout of this front tire here don't really know why i guess it was just old and didn't want to hold an extra 500 pounds of weight so thankfully i had this brand new tire here just sitting in the shed so went ahead and threw that on there and everything's okay now i'll go ahead and show you how this loader operates so first we start the tractor of course and then we have to engage the pto because the pto shaft in front that you would use to drive an attachment is actually what spins that loader pumps here we go height there as you can see this loader actually has a pretty decent amount of lift height the buckets probably a little over six feet in the air so it's a it's a pretty large bucket too for this size tractor so it's nice there's the bucket curl It works just like a loader should so and uh just for reference this is a 1985 john deere 430 tractor that i've repainted and uh let's see how many hours it has on it here i can't remember we're at 851 so this is a pretty nice machine here with pretty low hours not original paint but original condition otherwise including 
original back tires and wheels, which definitely have to go because with this 500 pound loader mounted on the front here, I can pretty much just barely drive the tractor around without any rear ballast. So I haven't used this loader to lift anything or for any kind of work yet. So the next thing I'm planning on doing is uh, get those tires off of there, probably mount some some ag style tires or some r4 tires we'll see what i can come up with um, i have a set of the newer style 430 wheels which are probably a little bit more durable and standard than these original flat wheels these tend to crack here if you put any stress on them and uh, these are actually in good shape and don't have any cracks but i probably want to keep it that way so i'll probably go ahead and replace the wheels and put on some nice traction tires back here and i'll also of course load the tires with some sort of liquid ballast which adds a lot of weight and I've got a set of 50 pound wheel weights as well that I'll go ahead and put on those other wheels, which I'm not sure if they would really fit these wheels, but I know they would fit the other ones. So that's another reason for switching. And then I'm hoping to maybe uh, go ahead and put a three point hitch on here, which I can make a video about if there's interest and uh, get some ballast on that as well. So we definitely need to get some weight back here before we can use this loader, but there's an overview of what it looks like and how it works. And hopefully that helps some people to see this 44 loader installed on the John Deere 430. Um, I'm not sure exactly what year this specific loader was made, but there's the information plate on it. There's the information on the tractor. And uh, everything works as it should, so we're going to go ahead and get some ballast on here and we'll make some videos on that. So thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe and like this video and come back for more. Thanks.